안녕하세요 여러분 <웃음> 오랜만이죠 <웃음> So sorry for the very long break but things have been crazy due to finals and stress and visa things and coronavirus a lot because of the coronavirus <laughs> So today I'm finally going on an adventure and I have one more English class to go to, one more tutoring session and then after that I'm headed over to the Hongdae area I'm going to a really really adorable macaron shop I've seen on Instagram and I'm really excited to go get macarons so my plan is to safely go there get a bunch of macarons and then come back home and show you how wonderful they are and hopefully delicious so let's get our mask on and <laughs> Go. Okay, I am just leaving my English lesson and let's go get some mangoes. So I got off at exit 3 of Hongdae station and I'm just wandering there to this cafe from in the Yeonnamdong area and this is like my favorite area to be in. Like as you can see around me, like everything is a cafe. Everything has a cafe or like a little store or something and it's really easy to get lost but that's a really good thing because as soon as you find something or you're going somewhere or something's closed there are like 10 other places that you can try out so it's a really fun neighborhood I walked away with macarons both for myself and for my friend Sabrina and I'm very very excited about it. I ordered 12 macarons and because of that they gave me one for free which I was really excited about too um, because there was one more flavor I wanted to try but didn't get and so it all worked out in the end. So I'm just going to make my way back home to my place of hibernation and give these a try. Let's go. Let's dig in. Um, I am so excited. I got so many flavors. <laughs> Don't worry, I got doubles of most things to give to Sabrina. So I'm not eating all of them, but I did get a lot for me. Anyway, I they're all like individually packed, as you saw in the store, which is nice. They're all the like very Korean style, like tons of filling, except for this cookie one. This is to me like a normally full amount of filling. And all the other ones, like, look at this. Look at the comparison. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Okay, so I got flavors that I'm really excited about, including this one that is Inzormi Yonyu. So like a soybean powder and condensed milk. And some other really cool ones that are like multiple different colors and flavors and this adorable uh, I think it's peach this peach little guy but I also got one following from our theme previously about Koreans and their cheese look at this look at how orange it is inside can you see past these like pretzel things it's it's oh it's cheese that's it's a cheese macaron and I already, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate it. 
but it's for you. It's all for you. <laughs> okay, so let's try this first one here. I appreciate the effort when there are two tone shells because it's a struggle to make them. You have to plan ahead even more than you usually do. And this one, the top shell, I actually really love this, that it's covered in a really thin layer of chocolate and then there are all these crunchies on top. So instead of mixing it into your batter or you know putting something crunchy on your shell and baking it, I think you get it, or you're gonna get a lot more texture from this, which I'm very excited about. So, yes, Mogul Birthday. I'm a little, this is really big. It reminds me of Dairy Queen. Why does it remind me of Dairy Queen? The little crunchies, when you get a Dairy Queen ice cream cake, you know, and there's that layer that's like the best layer, and it's those crunchy things and like ganache is what I think is on the top of this macaron. A plus. The shell is actually really, really nice texture. The filling, it's a lot of filling. Like they clearly put two layers of this vanilla buttercream. And okay, for one good point, it is really vanilla-y. You can see the vanilla beans. It's really amazing, but it's just, it's, it's too much. It's too much. But I still enjoyed it. That's still really good. And I really am into that texture situation. So far, so good. The other one I'm really excited about, but it's not like a really crazy flavor, is this strawberry one. Because look at how many freeze-dried strawberries on that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Ah! I'm so excited. I love freeze-dried strawberries. I love putting it in buttercream. I love putting it in macarons, like everything. I think it's such a good natural flavor. And the color is usually really amazing. The texture is usually good. Though this has been in the refrigerator, so it feels like a little moist instead of like that really crispy is just like not. <laughs> but it still tastes good. Okay. A lot of filling. I'm a little apprehensive about that, but we're still gonna give it a try. The flavor is good. Even the buttercream is like very strawberry. A lot of my fillings squish out the back. <laughs> It's very, very, very strawberry, which I really like. It tastes fresh, even though like there's no fresh macarons or fresh, fresh macarons, fresh strawberries in here. So I like it. Again, a little heavy handed on the buttercream situation, but that's fine. We're going to move on to the adorable macarons before I torture myself with the cheese situation. So... Which one should I eat first? If you were me, would you eat one that looks like a chocolate chip cookie or one that looks like a bear but is peach flavored? We're gonna go for the bear. It's so adorable. I am obsessed with character macarons. And luckily for me, Korea's obsessed with them too. Look at it. It's a lot of buttercream. It's gonna be okay though. Okay. Do I eat it from the ear side or do I eat it from the face side? face side. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's squishing out everywhere. But there's jam on the inside. Mm. Mm. The peach is like peach flavor, Japanese candy kind of peach flavor. I will try to sandwich her back together. Sorry, friend. That's actually quite lovely. Like candy-ish flavor, not like real fruit like the strawberry one is, but it's good. It's very good. And again, I'm like really pleased with how 
the shells are. They're not cracking, they're not too crispy, but they're not soggy. It's like, I'm, I'm impressed. Well done, no holes. It's nice. So let's move on to our cookie one. And I think she told me it was just like a really dark ganache. I wanted to ask more questions, but I kind of think the girl working was just like part-time staff because when I would ask questions about specific things that were going into the different macarons, she kind of looked at me funny and then had like really vague answers. And I was just kind of looking at her like kind of stunned because I was like, I know my Korean is fine. And that's not what I was asking. <laughs> it's okay. But I did get that this was dark chocolate. <laughs> it's so cute. I really want to make chocolate chip macarons now. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, she dense. Shoot, look at that though. That's a perfect bite. Oh. That's very nice. I wish you could eat this too. That's really good. That's very good. Okay. So far on a like depth of filling, amount of filling, etc. I think that was my favorite. Because as you see, like it did not squish anywhere. Look at how perfect those macaron shells are, like zero gaps. It's, this is really well made. This to me is like perfect. Maybe have I had I eaten the other ones a little bit cooler. You know, I'm eating these like closer to room temperature. So it's kind of squishing out. It's still too much better, but it's squishing out. So, but yeah, proportion, flavor, texture this this is a winner and it does have that kind of feeling of like i'm eating chocolate chip cookies you bought from the store that have the like perfectly placed <laughs> little chocolate chips on top so that was very pleasant but now for something unpleasant i like i don't want to do this again like mad respect two different color shells there's clearly this cheese situation and it's covered in pretzels so I guess A plus on creativity and technique. I'm not ready. I'll never be ready. Okay, for science. Once you chew it, it's better, but the outside, you can see how orange this is. Look at how orange this is. <sighs> so the outside here are these like cheese covered pretzels, but of course they've been sitting in a refrigerator freezer. So they are soggy. They're not really crispy anymore. So it's just a weird, <laughs> so not adding a lot. You're not adding a lot. And once you like really get it in there with the macaron shell and that like tones down the cheese situation. But you guys, this is like just, it's like spray cheese. It's just, it's, they probably made it or not. Or they just like took some mac and cheese, mixed cheese into a little bit of buttercream. I don't know. It's not great. <laughs> it's not that it's disgusting. Like again, the macaron shells are nice. The texture of the cheese situation is nice. But we've got it, we've got to go back to something else. I need to like eat some of this to wash it out of my mouth. Much better. Much better. So I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for watching this random macaron adventure that I went on today to Chumpi Bee Macaron over in 
Um, the Yeongnam-dong area by Hanatapjong, uh, Hongdae, Hongdae Station. Um, it's been a really long time since I have had the time and energy and lack of stress and a little bit less fear and panic about the coronavirus. <laughs> so I could go out of my house and have a pastry adventure. So I'm very, very, very appreciative that I am back in a situation where I can be filming and eating and taking pictures of wonderful pastries again. Um, for anybody who doesn't follow me on Instagram and doesn't already know, I will be heading back to the US next week for about two weeks. And before I go, I'll be moving into a new apartment and my goal is to film a little moving video so you can see a little bit more about the space I'm living in now and then also the cooler place I'm moving to on a Wednesday. And then I also am going to be doing a lot of eating out when I'm in the US, both in Minneapolis and in Portland. So I am hoping to bring everyone along with me and then get back into the pastry adventure videos when I'm back in Korea in March. So thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know which macaron you do want to try and let me know if you would actually buy this cheese macaron. I'm very curious. So <laughs> I will see you next time.